For close to 70 years, Bernard Levy worked hard to forget this place. A place where at the age of just 19, he bore witness to one of the world's worst examples of man's inhumanity to man. Well, you can't help thinking about the people who were dying in there with no help, no food, no succour, no hospital treatment. It just feels terribly sad. He was one of the first British soldiers to arrive at Bergen-Belsen in the days after liberation. Barbed wire everywhere, chaos, bodies, pits, and uh, they look like skeletons. All, almost all, invariably they look like skeletons. When Bernard arrived at the camp, at least 50,000 men, women and children had been killed by the Nazis. 60,000 were still clinging to life. It's difficult, isn't it? Because actually the view that we have is rather beautiful, but yes. it was a scene of horror. Yeah. Yeah, it was. I wish I could have done more. At least showed more humanity. I mean, we were moving bodies, we were moving living bodies, we were moving people, disinfecting them, moving them. Did I feel tremendous compassion for them? I don't know whether I did or not, and did I feel enough compassion? And was there anything else I could have done? Maybe given them a piece of chocolate or something on their way, who knows? You know? For every person you helped to escape out of this camp, you were there here. I was a boy doing a job, and that's what I, I did. In a way, I'm glad I'm back, because if you like, it's the last, it's the last time I'll be here. <laughs> and <laughs> I just feel that I've come to say goodbye to all that. And uh, I hope that they all rest in peace. <laughs>